September 22, 2017 The Sanoa Suomi MPP satellite provided a look at Maria's temperatures to find the strongest sides of the storm, while NOAA's GOES satellite revealed the extent of the storm in a visible image as it moved toward the Bahamas. On September 22 at 3.18 a.m. EDT 0718 UTC the Vyars instrument aboard Nisano Azuomi NPP satellite provided a thermal image of Hurricane Maria north of Hispaniola and nearing the Bahamas. The image showed highest coldest clouds around the Iowa and in bands of thunderstorms to the northeast and south and southeast of the center, stretching over Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. Those clouder clouds have the capability of producing heavy rainfall. At 5.04 a.m. a stack the National Weather Service NWS in San Juan, Puerto Rico reported those bands of thunderstorms were still dropping heavy rain. Satellite estimates indicate heavy rain over eastern Puerto Rico and heavier rain about to move into western Puerto Rico. The heavy rain will cause flooding. NWS noted some locations that are will experience flooding include San Juan, Ponce, Arecibo, Yauco, Fajardo, Guayama, Como, Jaya. Ajuntas, Santa Isabel, Canavanas, Sabana Seca, San Sebastian, Naranjito, Humacao, Mayagas, San German, Lodges, Hortillo, and Penuelas. Flood warnings are in effect until 545 p.m. EDT today, Friday, September 22, 2017. In hilly terrain there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. A visible image of Hurricane Maria was taken from NOAA's GOES East satellite on September 22 at 10 a.m. EDT 1400 UTC showed the storm just north of Turk Island and nearing the Bahamas. The National Hurricane Center NHC reported Maria is still producing 125 miles per hour winds as it passes northeast of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Both the Suomi NPP and GOZI East images were created at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. NOAA manages the GOES series of satellites, and the Nisano and GOES project uses the data to create images and animations. The rapid response team at Goddard produces imagery from the Suomi NPP satellite. A hurricane warning is in effect for Turks and Caicos Islands and the southeastern Bahamas, and a tropical storm warning is in effect for the central Bahamas. At 11 a.m. EDT 1500 UTC, the eye of Hurricane Maria was located near 22.3 degrees north latitude and 71.0 degrees west longitude. That's about 55 miles 90 kilometers north of Grand Turk Island and 445 miles 715 kilometers southeast of Nassau. Maria was moving toward the northwest near 8 miles per hour 13 kph. A data from an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicate that maximum sustained winds remain near 125 miles per hour 205 kph with higher gusts. Maria is a Category 3 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. A gradual weakening is forecast during the next 48 hours. The minimum central pressure based on data from the reconnaissance aircraft is 958 millibars. NHC said a turn toward the north-northwest is expected later today followed by a turn toward the north by late Saturday. On the forecast track, Maria's core will move away from the Turks and Caicos Islands today and pass northeast and east of the Bahamas through Sunday, September 24. And for updated forecasts on Maria, visit http://nhc.noaa.gov. By Rob Gutro, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center related Bahamas articles, current Bahamas news and events. We have handpicked the best science podcasts for 2017. Sit back and enjoy new science podcasts updated daily from your favorite science news services and scientists. Now playing with I Lab Oliver Sipple one morning, Oliver Sipple went out for a walk. A couple hours later, to his own surprise, he saved the life of the President of the United States. But in the days that followed, Sipple's split-second act of heroism turned into a rationale for making his personal life into political opportunity. What happens next makes us wonder what a moment, or a movement, or a whole society can demand of one person. And how much is too much? Your browser does not support the audio element. Now playing TED Radio Our Future Consequences from Data Collection to Gene Editing to AI, what we once considered science fiction is now becoming reality. This hour, TED speakers explore the future consequences of our present actions. Guests include designer Anab Jane, futurist Juan Enriquez, biologist Paul Nopfler, 
and neuroscientist and philosopher Sam Harris. Your browser does not support the audio element.